Hey y'all, it's your girl Stay Home. Welcome to another weekend. It's like I've got no sense of touch. I'm always pouring out my heart. No little by little here. I'm always pushing things too far. Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar. No boundaries, I get too close No little by little here Cause I give my all Hey y'all, it's your girl Stay Hall Welcome to another weekend vlog Living life with your girl Stay Hall If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome I am so excited that you joined me today and if you're one of my returning Life for Tribe members, welcome back, girl. Thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to drop in real quick to introduce the vlog. Uh, it is Memorial Day weekend. My family is in town, so I have been doing some cooking like all weekend. So I will definitely um, be putting a little montage of everything I cooked. Your girl fried some fish. I fried some chicken. I made spaghetti. Um, today, I'm on the grill with some ribs, some chicken leg quarters, a bunch of different kinds of sausages. We got potato salad. We got baked beans. We got green beans. We got mac and cheese. We doing the thing. Um, so the kids, where I'm saying the kids, my son, who is 21, and my nephew, who is 16, were just in the pool for a second. Family's chilling outside, waiting for my friends Vince and Sam to drop by. And we're just going to have a good time. I don't know what all we're going to get into this weekend as far as the vlog. Um, probably not a whole lot because I want to enjoy family time and all that jazz. Um, so this will probably go, or it'll definitely go past the weekend where I can give y'all more of my personal one-on-one -on -one attention. But I definitely wanted to start it today. So um, let's go out and say hi to the fam bam and see what they got going on. Usually I don't post. Usually I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling, a GDM in, yeah. Good morning, y'all. So it is Wednesday morning. Our wonderful company left yesterday morning, Tuesday morning, day after Memorial Day. And um, I didn't pick up the camera at all yesterday. We just kind of chilled out, reset, got the house straightened up, relaxed a little bit, just to kind of, you know, reset from the long weekend in the company. We had a great time. I did not vlog very much because of course, you don't wanna spend most of your time behind the camera. You wanna spend most of your time enjoying your family. So, oh uh, yeah, he's back there. Him and the puppet up, we're doing our walk. So yeah, we had a good time. We have plans to do it again for the 4th of July, hopefully. And then we all have a cruise plan together in September because our husband's birthdays are just like less than a week apart. So um, we're doing a cruise where we will start it off celebrating Wallace's birthday and uh, end it celebrating Fred's birthday. So that's really exciting. But yeah, we're just out here for our morning walk. It's about eight o'clock almost. Got up, did our morning affirmations together. We made the bed kinda together. 
that's a very stressful part of our day because Wallace always says I'm doing it wrong. So I end up walking away and he does it himself. Wallace, what's the problem with our bed making routine in the morning? With our what? Bed making routine in the morning. Why is that so stressful for us? It's a work in progress, let's just put it that way. What seems to be the issue right now though? <laughs> work in progress i just leave it at that he always thinks he knows right so when we're making the bed together wallace only pays attention to his side and so he gets everything all perfect on his side and then i don't have enough cover like enough comforter on my side or too much sheet on my side so my side looks crazy but then he yep. says it's my fault but what is that is that a rattlesnake Oh, well, that's their sprinkler system. I'm so dramatic. <laughs> anyway, I don't have enough or I have too much. And then he looks at my side and says it was me, but you were the one maneuvering all the covers. Stuff has to be done in proportions. So, you know, if it's too much on one side, it's not enough on the other. But I don't want to keep pulling because then when I pull something or push something over, then he's looking at me like, you're messing my side up. You make adjustments. <sighs> yeah, it's, so. it's, it's a work in progress, like I said. It's a work in progress. But I feel like sometimes, because we've been doing this now for... But I, I'll just take it myself, though. So. Right. That's what I was going to say. You have to know the strengths and weaknesses. I do all the cooking at home for the most part. He can make the bed up. I do certain other stuff. He can do certain other stuff. Because sometimes working together doesn't necessarily mean necessarily here so that doesn't necessarily mean working together working together sometimes means separating things but splitting them up in a way where you are appreciating and you utilizing each other's strengths and also appreciating and recognizing each other's weaknesses so we get up every morning at six o'clock we kind of just relax, unwind, we listen to our affirmations, and then we try to be out of the bed by seven in order to get the bed made and get dressed to do whatever we're gonna do in the morning, whether it's go upstairs and exercise or come out for a walk. Why ruin that vibe by arguing over making up the bed, right? Mm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> That's another thing we're gonna work on is his listening skills. But yeah, so we just decided, you know what? Why do we keep trying to do this together? And a lot of times we don't do it together because one of us will be out of the room doing oh, something you else. You still don't it no, I was just talking about how sometimes working together doesn't necessarily mean working together. It means oh. working together to figure out oh, yeah. just how to get someone it done. It does. Someone does something. Yeah. That's yeah. All it is. And then, you know, being an active listener, which is what we teach all day, every day. Yeah. I apologize. I'm listening to something on the, I listen to a podcast. I'm going apologize. Bus not paying attention but anyway so we're on our walk um got a lot of work to do today for eye salt have some phone calls to make uh some deals to confirm and settle so i'll probably pick y'all back up a little later today mr lux yes. can y'all see him am i going the wrong way for them to see him mr lux has not mastered the walk yet he's trying I can't get him in here, he's moving too much. But um, he has his, what, this is his fifth training class today or fourth? Uh, fifth. So he's fourth, about fourth. fourth. Okay, so two more classes and he'll be graduating from puppy school. And believe it or not, he's doing really good in puppy school. Um, so yeah, no doubt in my mind, he'll be graduating from that. We're just working on some little things, but he's only nine months old. But anyway, y'all, let's get ready to get loud. I'll pick y'all back up later. So we're at PetSmart, headed into puppy training class, I guess you call it. And um, they don't let you bring the camera in there. Well, they don't let you record in there because I guess they're scared that you're gonna try to, yeah, steal their techniques and make millions off of it by 
making videos and recording it or whatever so and I'm filming on my camera guys so y'all know I'll be forgetting where to look it just seems to be easier these days I'm thinking about maybe getting a GoPro or a smaller camera to bring when we're out and about um because the big my big camera is awesome but it's cumbersome but yeah we're headed into puppy camp y'all can see I don't look much different than I did this morning but today was a very productive day I always give away too much mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch I'm always pouring out my heart No little by little here I'm always pushing things too far Two, five, six, ten Hey y'all, happy Thursday We are headed into America's best to get our yearly eye exam. Me and Nutty Butters. Butters, say hi to the people. <laughs> I'm going for a contact exam. Nutty is getting his glasses. We're not even trying contacts with him anymore because we've tried it several times and he does not want to touch his eyeball. And you can't do it without that. But yeah, it is Thursday morning. We got a few things planned today. Not a ton, but you know, I'm gonna take y'all with me as we get into it. So I feel like I've been sight shamed. <laughs> I know it's their job. However, I'm here because I can't see. So don't let me take part of the test with my contacts in and let me completely rock out and then be like, okay, for this part, we're gonna take them out. Okay, what line can you read? None, ma'am. I can read none, no lines, zero. I can't see anything. They're lines, <laughs> they're letters, what? I can't read anything. And so then I come out and tell my son, I'm like, they made me take my contacts out and I couldn't see anything. And he's like, well, isn't that the point? Well, no, y'all already know I can't see. So then she was like, well, there's two extra tests here, but they're out of pocket. Did you want to take those? And I'm like, well, what are they for? And she was like, well, this one is to see if you have any eye disease or whatever. And this other one is for something else. And I remember there was a time when I'd be like, no, I'll just take the traditional. I'm good. But once you hit that 50 plus, it's like, no, nah, whatever test y'all got, I'm taking all the tests because I need to make sure. So I took those tests. And so <laughs> she shows me this sheet and she's like, OK, just to let you know ahead of time, what you need to be looking for if you ever see these lines pop up anywhere on the screen I need you to press this button and so she said I'll let you know when it starts well she never said anything so then she's like ma'am you don't see anything so now I'm panicked I said well I saw stuff but you never told me it was time to start so I thought you were just getting ready and she was like oh because I was wondering why I wasn't hearing any beeping of the thing because I've been doing it I'm like well you didn't tell me so we started over and I, I saw the lines and I started clicking the button but um yeah I'm very competitive um even with myself so I just feel like it's a setup don't have me in here playing these eye games but then tell me to take my contacts out and then have me start a game and you ain't even tell me it started like I'm feeling some kind of way, but they're awesome here. I, I really do love America's Best. It's not the swankiest, but um, they get the job done. The prices are very reasonable. Um, I used to go to a more posh, chic um, eye doctor or whatever, optician, optician, ops, whatever, y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, but it just cost way too much. It just wasn't worth it. I was getting the same service or whatever so I just came back to what I know which is America's Best because I used to go to America's Best back in the day in the um, 99s and the 2000s when I lived in Pittsburgh. I used to go downtown Pittsburgh and it was the best so that little owl on the commercial he'd be telling the truth but anyway y'all Ian is out there trying to pick some super expensive glasses and I'm still waiting to see the doctor I guess you see the technician first so a lot of waiting around, step by step, assembly line stuff. But anyway, y'all, I just thought I would tell you they tried to play your girl. Are the prices on? Uh, how much are they? Because you know the insurance will pay for some of it. Alright y'all, so it is about 10.30 at night 
and I wanted to jump on because I have tons of packages. Um, went to the eye doctor today and was there way longer than I thought I was going to be there. My son's appointment was at 9.30. Mine was at 9.45. Um, they only have one doctor there, so, you know, 9.30, 9.45. But we did not get home until almost noon. It was crazy. I mean, it was just like being at a regular doctor's appointment or the hospital because they call you in, you know, right away, it seems like, you know, after waiting about 15 minutes. Um, but then you go in and you think you're getting your eye exam, but it was just a pre-exam. Then you wait again, then you see the doctor, then you come out. You have to wait again for, I guess, like a sales rep to come and you tell them what you want and whatever. So we were there way longer than I thought. So I came home and just did some work because I had some phone calls and different things that I needed to make. Um, and I am pooped now and not just from that you know we still had the long weekend and you know your girl it take me a minute to recover i mean today is thursday but shoot you know i did a lot so i am poop but i was like nope i'm gonna jump on and open these packages and y'all as always i don't even know what's in here but we are gonna see and i really need my nails done i don't know what day i almost went today because the nail shop is in the same uh, parking lot plaza whatever you want to say is the eye doctor but am I the only one who like tries to wait to get certain things done until you know you have something to do like I don't want to get my nails done and just be in the house for a week so um but they do they're they are really overgrown a couple of them have chipped and I'm just like trying to file them to keep them smooth just straight uh Ignorant on my part, just not taking care of them. But I do have a meeting on June 6th, and today is the first. So I'll be getting my nails done on the 5th. But um, yeah, because it's to the point where it's just a mess. But anyway, I don't know. I just looked at them and decided I would ask. But let me know. How, do you just get your nails done as soon as they look like they need done, or do you kind of wait? You know, because I'm the same way with my hair. I'll walk around here looking crazy for a couple of days if I don't have nowhere to go. But anyway, let me know what y'all do. But let's get into these packages. Let's see what we got. And y'all know they tried to play me on that eye test today. However, comma, when I went to actually see the doctor, he said that my eyes had not changed at all since last year. My prescription didn't change or anything, so evidently it wasn't that bad. But yeah, she played me. Okay, so this is a burger press, and I may make us some smash burgers tomorrow or the next day because I was seeing those. Y'all know I watched QVC and they were making the smash burgers, so they're like the thin ones that you would get at Five Guys or one of those places. Moo Ya Burger. Do they even still have Moo Ya Burger? I haven't seen one in the longest. But that's what this is. So it's just like this stainless steel press, so you can smash the burger down and make it super flat so i wanted to get one i saw them they weren't even selling these on qvc they were selling um i don't even want to mention it because it makes me feel some kind of way but they were selling the hibachi grill and <laughs> my husband's behind the camera y'all and he's laughing because he knows they were selling a hibachi grill, and I really wanted the hibachi grill, but they were showing you all of the different things you could do on the hibachi grill um, other than hibachi, even though I would be hibachi in all the time. Like, I love going to the Japanese restaurants and going to the hibachi, um, but my husband did not feel like I would use the hibachi grill enough to make the purchase make sense. So I'm still feeling some kind of way about it, but they did show you that you could also make smash burgers, so... Since I couldn't get the hibachi grill, I figured that I would just at least get this and make smash burgers on the little in-house grill that he does allow me to have. Uh, but yeah, so that's what this is. It's really heavy too. I mean, like not too heavy to use, but heavy, you know, mean in quality. The thickness is pretty good. So whenever I make the smash burgers, maybe we'll record that so y'all see. But I got this on QVC. I mean, didn't get it on QVC. Got it on Amazon, so I will link it below in the description box let's see what this one is oh this is one of those bags y'all i was telling you that's like reusable if you need to send something back and it's weird because like that one wasn't so i don't know um 
Amazon why y'all do that. And then they have the label kind of over this one. But let me show y'all. It's perforated right here. So you just, you have to be careful with it. And then like I said, this one they have the label over it. But still, if you rip it like this, then you see you have the little strip here, the little silver. And underneath that is sticky. So if I needed to return this, I could just turn this bag inside out so none of the labels or the um, scan codes, barcodes are on there. Now I have a plain bag and I just take this off and I can seal it. So I just learned about this. I was always just ripping them open, never paid attention. And I did kind of think a couple of times, what does the uh, silver do that for? But I just never paid attention. So um, I found out one day. So that is an easy way to return it. And then you put the label on or just take it to UPS or wherever you're taking it. But yeah, it's a reusable bag. And you can even use it if you need to mail something else, whatever. But this is a new charger for my phone, watch, and AirPods. I got one a few years ago at Costco and it was just for my phone and my watch and it worked really good, but all of a sudden, a week or so ago, it just stopped working on the phone part. So since I have the AirPods and everything, I decided to get this. It had pretty good reviews, but it's a three-in-one wireless charging solution. And since I have all three of these things, I'll just put this on my nightstand. So I'll let y'all know how it works. Um, is it one of those super chargers? Three in one wireless charger. Oh, foldable. I didn't even realize it was foldable. And it says fast charging. So it is one of those fast charging ones. So yeah, I got this on Amazon. Um, and I guess it would be foldable because this box is flat. So let's see what's in this one. What's up, Lux? Y'all hear him? tapping around. We have hardwood floors and his little nails here. He just got groomed about a week ago. He's so cute. Oh. I'm going to be talking about this in a vlog that, or not a vlog, but a content video that I am um, going to be doing probably next week. But this is the book, Who Moved My Cheese? I read it years ago, but this is excellent for like entrepreneurs, people thinking about um, changing careers, stuff like that. Um, we already had a copy at the house, but the hubby let our daughter borrow it. And I was like, well, if she has it, she doesn't need to return it. I'll just buy another one um, because it is one of those that you'll go back and read again. It's been out forever, but I'm going to be talking about this book because I'm going to kind of do a content video. Um, just talking about the things that I use to keep myself organized, inspired, things like that. So I'll talk about this later, but I'll still link this in the description box. But yeah, got it on Amazon, of course. And this is the last one. And it's another one of those reusable bags. But again, it's just weird. Like people don't pay attention when they're doing things, I guess, moving so fast because they make, it's like when they put stickers and labels over the, um, titles of books and different stuff like just not paying attention just moving quick because this is another one of those reusable bags but you got the whole label over this so it makes it almost impossible to really use it that way because you gotta rip it all apart and this is my Wi-Fi ultrasonic aromatherapy humidifier and it's in like the brown wood color to match the floors i hope it's not broke because y'all see this box is kind of damaged but um you know the youngest is home from school for the summer well part of the summer he's leaving on the 15th of this month for his internship but i realized that my aromatherapy humidifier for down here was up in his room um but instead of making him give it back. I just bought a new one simply because the one I had, I've had for some years and it's white. And, um, I bought it from a friend who was, uh, what's that stuff called? Metaluca was selling Metaluca. So I bought it to support her and it did work well, but it really didn't go with my decor. So I'm like, Oh, well I've had it for some years and he decided to take it upstairs. So maybe that's my sign to buy a new one. So this one matches 
the wood in the house and it is Bluetooth has a little uh, remote and everything with it. I was hoping I could find a wireless one, but I wasn't able to find a wireless one. But um, yeah, so this is that because I've been wanting to use my essential oil, but the child has it upstairs. Where's the remote? It's supposed to have a remote. This is the charger. Did the people not get on that remote? Let me see. Smart aromatherapy diffuser, user manual. Do they have a what's in the box page? I think it may be controlled by your phone. Oh. Yep. Turn on the Bluetooth function on the phone. Ah. I thought it was a remote, so. Babe, you're a genius. Thank you. You're welcome. So, yeah, you control it with your phone. And you're able to, because it has the light change of colors. Once I get it set up, I'll show y'all. But yeah, so that was that. So that was all of the packages for today. Um, we got a little bit of running around to do tomorrow. I'm hoping to get another good walk in in the morning. Um, and we'll see what else we get into. Of course, I have work that I need to do. But um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to make these nails last a few more days. And That'll be fine. I'm not worried about anybody. Y'all need to be looking at us. But yeah, y'all. I'll touch base with y'all again in the morning. Bye. Y'all. Look at the spider. And I had said, oh, I'm not going to vlog on the walk this morning because I didn't bring my selfie stick. I don't have my camera. Just dealing with my phone. But this is the kind of stuff that you come across. My husband said it's a wood spider. Um, I don't know, but it's crazy. Oh, shoot, y'all. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. All right, I'm going. I'm going, y'all. <laughs> okay, so this is going to sound super crazy, but we just finished our three and a half mile walk, and now we're on our way to the donut shop. But that's because today is National Donut Day, and we have our favorite donut shop, uh, Doughboy's in Burleson, black owned donut shop, great gourmet, handmade, homemade, from scratch donuts. So how could we not? And so we did a three and a half mile walk. So that means we could have a little bit of a sugar intake. We're not gonna get a whole dozen. We're not gonna get a bunch, but you know, we do have to do it. And y'all, did y'all see that spider that we encountered on the walk? It was probably in the clip right before this crazy i saw it from at least how far back babe probably about 20 yards at least i'm like what is that crawling across the sidewalk and he's like where i'm like right there and it was big enough from as far as i was where i thought it might be a mouse or something but mice usually are kind of fast and this was just kind of slow crawling and then i noticed as i got a little closer there were multiple legs and I'm like babe I think that might be a spider and that joker was this big I don't know if y'all can tell on the video how big it was I tried to pan out and pan in so you can see but this big and furry and brown my husband said it was a wood spider I've never heard of such I just know I didn't want it anywhere near me but I had to show y'all but anyway we're on our way to Doughboy so I'll pick y'all up once we get there <music> goodness 
Um, we just have a chocolate glaze there. And then this one was called the cereal killer with the different cereal. That's a butter pecan. That's a cheesecake, vanilla glazed. And this one was called pretzel palooza. And then these are called boss hog. They're just like, I guess the kolache type thing is what you would call them. But one is spicy and one's regular. So it's the roll with the sausage in the middle and then wallace got this doughboy sandwich which is a grilled donut y'all with bacon sausage pepper jack cheese and an egg so y'all know i'm gonna be pinching off of that but everything looks delicious and these donuts they hand dip them and make them to order so you do not just see like a case full of donuts in there everything is dipped and made to order and um, i'll try to get more of that footage when we get there next time when we go there next time but like i said today was national donut day so they were kind of crowded and i didn't want to slow up process or be all up in their face while they were trying to move but um yeah they do it all right there in front of you they have all the toppings the icing and everything there they take the donuts out of the oven because you can see huh i said they've been super friendly every time we've gone in there oh yeah they're really friendly really nice and when they give you your order, you know that everything is open in the box and they go over every donut with you to make sure that you have what you ordered. So we are getting ready to dig in and then I'm gonna get some work done. Hey Luck, say hi to the people. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lux is like, y'all left oh. me this morning. Oh. <laughs> oh. Stretching. Oh. Good there you job. Go. Good there job. You go, boy. Hey y'all, happy Saturday morning. I am sitting outside on the back patio just enjoying some rays and just wanted to pick y'all up for a second to really kind of end the vlog because like I said, today is Saturday. I am going to upload this one for y'all to see. Dad, what happened to my sunshine? Really, how the sun gonna play your girl like that? Here we go. Upload for y'all to see tomorrow because um, I want to get back to doing my uploads on Sundays, but I am about to join a master class this morning with Miss Cheryl Pillow Williamson. If you do not know Cheryl Pillow Williamson, if you do not all of, all way, already follow her, you need to do so. I have known her for about eight years. She is a phenomenal woman, um, has dedicated her life into pouring into other women, into other people. Um, she is a radio personality. She is in film. She has written, I believe, like 18 books. Um, and today's topic or masterclass is about mastering your mindset. Um, and I just love the information that she brings. And so anytime I have the time to be in the room where she's going to be and to glean from her knowledge, I make sure I jump on. So I will definitely leave links on how to connect with her in the description box but yeah i just kind of wanted to jump on and end this vlog so that i can start another one today um for you guys but i have been meaning to mention to you all and i might do a video um on this in and of itself just like one of my chit chat videos have any of y'all watched that show on oh my gosh i think it's the id channel oh my gosh what is it called the curious case of natalia grace it is about this family who adopted who they thought was a little girl but she was a little person um you know i can't remember the name of whatever type of dwarfism she had or whatever so she was a little person but they adopted her and they thought when they adopted her she was like five or six but then it ends up that maybe she actually when they adopted her was 18 and um they were claiming that she was trying to kill the family that she had poisoned the mother it was like this five part mini series or something like that that my husband and i watched um over the last couple of nights we finally finished it that story was crazy like we watched the whole thing and we still don't know whether she's actually a grown woman or whether she's a little girl so it's like if she was really a little girl when it happened um, when they adopted her, then I guess she's supposed to be like 19 now. But if she was the age that they're saying she was, then she would be like 33 now. And of course, because of her condition of being a little person, it's harder to tell. But then there's some doctors who are saying she's grown or some. It was crazy. If y'all haven't seen it, it is worth watching. But it's very confusing because every time we thought we had the story figured out or like, okay, so she is an adult. 
then it was like something else came up and she wasn't. Um, there were trials, and even in the trials, it was like her age, or I think there ended up being one trial against the adoptive father. But then, well, I don't want to spoil it if y'all are going to watch it. But yeah, it's crazy. But I think it's called The Curious Case of Natalia Grace. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that to y'all because I may do a video, um, just a chit chat about that story and just, I don't know, it's just crazy, but I want to give y'all a chance to watch it, but, um, I don't want to be miss spoiler alert, but it is, it's worth the watch. You just have to have time and don't get frustrated because it is, um, very confusing. Just a lot of twists and turns. I don't know. And I still ended up at the end of it, like say what now, you know? still have no idea but anyway um just wanted to jump on here real quick to end the vlog and of course thank y'all for hanging out with me i'm gonna start another vlog today um probably get um a little clip in here of the master class um so y'all can hear a little bit or see a little bit about what miss cheryl pellot williamson has going on she is based here in dallas fort worth but she literally travels the world so um definitely worth connecting with her but guys i thank you so much for always tuning in and hanging with your girl you just don't know how much fun it is for me to be able to share with y'all and talk with y'all because it's like you guys are my family this is something where i'm like oh i gotta tell my vlog i gotta tell my life or try so i love it and if you are new to the channel Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time to be here. And you might as well go ahead and join the Lifer uh, Tribe by hitting that subscribe button. It will cost you nothing. It is free 99. And um, I think you'll like it here. But you know, guys know, until next time, I love you all to bits and pieces. Always be kind to one another. But make sure you never stop living your life. Love yourself first explicitly. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. I always give away too much mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch I'm always pouring out my heart No little by little he